pinatas. I love pinatas. It's perfect for when you want to beat something to death, but also want candy. Why do they make it look so pretty? Most of the time when you're playing with it, it looks like this. What the, Alex, what are you, what are you doing here? I just wanted to know what it would feel like to have a billion subscribers. No, go, get out. Go back to It's Alex Clark and wait your turn. Okay, fine. Don't come back unless you have cake. <sighs> Pinatas. <clears throat> Here's a story that involved me when I was a first grader in a pinata. I don't know if any of you guys did this in your elementary school, but when it was someone's birthday, that kid would bring treats for the whole class. And then the whole class would take 10 minutes, stop everything they're doing, and then pass out the pastries to everyone. How come we don't do that anymore? In high school, depending on the teacher, they don't do anything for your birthday party. And in college, Heck, no one even talks to you. So I have a twin sister and we were in the first grade together. So when it came time for our birthdays, we had to celebrate two birthdays. It's double birthdays. We gotta do something extra special. My mom had an idea. Let's do a pinata. But since my mom is super cheap, she decided to make her own pinata out of paper mache. And it turns out making homemade pinatas are easy. All you gotta do is blow up a balloon, cover it in paper mache, wait for it to harden, pop the balloon inside, cut a hole open, fill it with candy, cover the hole back up with paper mache, paint it, and then beat it senseless. Simple. So my mom went above and beyond and made a sphere pinata for our entire first grade class. Me and my sister's birthday is towards the end of the school year. And in elementary school, that last week of school, like, you don't even do anything. It doesn't even count. So hopefully my teacher wasn't too mad at what was about to transpire. My sister and I were just pumped the whole school day. Because we helped build the pinata. We helped paint it, and now we're going to help beat it to pieces. The teacher eventually called out, All right, class, James's mom made us a pinata, so we're all going to go outside and whack it. Oh, yes, this was perfect. It was our birthday. We got to beat up a pinata at school. I have the best mom. Me and my sister got a swing first because we're the birthday boys. We didn't end up breaking it, but I wasn't mad. Let these other non-birthday people have some fun. I'm a generous guy. Hey, in the end, I just want the candy. So the next guy goes up, then the next, then the next, and then eventually everyone got a turn. Well, a pinata's supposed to break, ain't it? Apparently, my mom was a little precautious and put a few extra layers of paper mache on the pinata so that way everyone would get a turn. Yay! And apparently, she also overestimated the strength of paper mache and first graders. But did this teacher let the whole class down? No. You know what she did? Bless her soul. She said, All right, class, we're all gonna take turns uh, throwing this against a curb. I mean, what other option did this teacher have? She could have stabbed it, but I don't think that would have been very fun. Looking back, she might have just been wanting to speed up the process, but as a group of seven-year-olds, we had a blast. Also, I'm glad the pinata was not in the shape of an animal, because imagine how traumatizing that would have been as seven-year-olds to curb stomp a unicorn. We would have been like little tiny mob bosses. All right, Tony, you ready to give up the candy? Such a shame you feel that way, Tony. Bruce? I'm glad my mom was so thoughtful putting all those layers of paper mache in the pinata because we all got a turn throwing the pinata on the ground. I remember getting so into it. I remember jumping up in the air before smashing the pinata onto the pavement. Nothing was going to get in between me and whatever candy was in there. Pretty soon though, we were all getting pretty antsy. Everyone was like, uh, I was promised there'd be candy. Eventually, after what felt like an eternity of beating this pinata into the ground, we got a rip. I don't know if you guys saw the first episode of The Walking Dead. It's actually the only episode I've ever seen. And there's a scene in the first episode where the zombies rip open a horse and eat its organs. Well, that was pretty much what it looked like after we got a rip in the pinata. I don't remember what candy was in there, but hopefully it was worth it. And that was probably the best and worst pinata I ever broke.